scientifically accurate Jojo Jennings, scientifically, <laughs> if you see the Jojo's please. toothless grin. Help me please, I'm in hell. It's probably because his penis can touch his chin. <laughs> Good morning everybody, this is Matt and the Dutchman, Southwest 40 Gamers. We're pimping with our friend Jojo. Good morning. We're, we're in... We're throwing him into the video game hunting scene this morning, this lovely Sunday morning. And uh, we're gonna go pick up our buddy Mark and do some good videos and a pickup video later today, so stay tuned. I'll call up that guy as soon as we get there. I'll be on standby. So th this is what happens. I get out of work and I see I have a missed call from Matt. So I, you know, I call him up. Uh, Matt is, Matt is, I believe, drunk, but I don't know, I can't be sure, you know, certain. I'm super sneaky when I'm drunk. Yeah, so what Matt, what happens is Matt asks why we're leaving early, uh, even though we went over the details of why we were leaving early uh, several hours prior. Uh, so we do that, and then uh, Matt offers me a job, but then tells me he doesn't want to give me a job. And then says, then says, he, then says he wants to give me a job. No, and then I would, tr I would, I would like, if you wanted to, I would help train you to become a pharmacy technician. Yeah, which, yeah, I'm into that, by the way. Okay, so then I go look at my phone, and my phone has a text message from John that about six or seven times in a row says, we'll be running late tomorrow, sexy time tonight. But then it says it over and over again. Yeah, because it kept saying not delivered. Yeah, I'm well, like, sure, sure it was delivered. Oh, my God. So my phone had, I think it was like 17 messages. Uh, I think it all said... You know, running late tomorrow, uh, sexy time, which is good. And then there was one for Matt that just said, uh, penis, and again, <laughs> then again, uh, also, why are we leaving so effing early, followed up by the word homo <laughs> approximately six times. That's good. So this was, this was my night. Good. That was a fun night. So, well, that gets better. Yeah, it's all documented. Beautiful. So then I'm heading home. You found something awesome though. I did. And the, the guy that sold me the, the box Super Nintendo stuff said, hey, you said you like Mega Man. I have a Mega Man Legends on the PS1. Oh! Complete, not touched. Disc is like literally <clears throat> not touched. So I go and I drive up there and I pick it up off of him for next to nothing. What's next to nothing? Ten bucks. Mmm. We sh I, I should have got that one that day with that you saw, remember? Yeah. So that was that was my eve from, yeah. Rusty pants. That's a pretty good evening. Yeah, uh, being called a homo eight times and then being told that sexy time was going to happen fifteen times. Sexy time did happen. I'm so sixteen glad you're times. <laughs> so glad you're <laughs> We've got some Ninja Turtle merchandise and some Nintendo merchandise from this one gentleman. What are you talking about? Oh, I thought Matt explained. So there's this dude that lives 10 minutes away from Level Up. Oh my god! There goes the camera. Dude lives 10 minutes away from Level Up and he wants to get rid of his, like, game stuff. And all of his, like, action figure stuff. And how do you, and this is a friend of yours? Yeah. Okay. He, just, he used to live down here, now he lives up there. Mm. And uh, it just so happened that it's working out in such a way that we might be able to get a lot of Ninja Turtle stuff. Are they going to have toothless grins? Yeah. He also has a, he has the bus too. <laughs> he has the turtle bus. A black tooth grin. I mean, to tell you the honest truth, I'm not a collector collector of those. I just think they're like little mementos on the collection, my video game collection, little space savers. Well, he also has like little Nintendo, like old school stand-ups as well. That's cool. Did you ever read Ninja Turtles, Jojo? I have the first several, oh, John, I have the first series of the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Black and white, black, when they're black and white. Uh, yeah. Cool. Assassin to murder people. Yeah. <laughs> very first uh, copies of that. There was no color bunga. It was of color. It was all black and white. It was larger. It was little big squares. And, yeah. <laughs> there was no color bunga. No, there was. There, there was, was no color. There was no eating pizza. There, there was, was no, no pizza time. No, they, oh. they were tough. 
They were tough ninjas. Dude. Yeah, I don't think there was. They kicked ass. I think they maybe said something about pizza. No, once. they softened it up when it became so popular. Yeah. They paid for kids. It was so funny too, because I remember the day one of my friends told me like, "Oh, that that comic book you like? It's gonna become a cartoon." And I'm like, "Oh, that's Done. gonna be so badass." Done. And then I saw it. I'm like, yeah. "Oh, no." Well, I was like four at the time, so it was awesome because there were colors. <laughs> It was on the back then, it was underground because I was collecting X Men, that kind of thing. And then my friend, this, this, this Ninja Turtle thing came out, and everybody's like, only some people picked it up because oh, they yeah. kind of passed it. Mm -hmm. Black and white, yep. you know, whatever, but it'll kick ass, it'll kick ass. Thank God for Playmate. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten the Ninja Turtles that I knew and loved. Oh, they, they're, they're the ones who uh, yeah, they produced them. Yeah, they the shit out of it. It's like Power Rangers over in Japan, or Pokemon over in Japan. Way more mature for their audience, but over here, spray colors and lots of movement. Yeah. Which was great when I was a child. I love when parents won't let their kids play Pokemon because it's all about, they say, gambling? Animal, animal cruelty. Yeah. You, say, you have your pets attack each other. Yeah. Peter just got busted for, uh, like, Puppy and kitten death camps. PETA did? Yeah. Huh? Like at some of their shelters. What? Yep. Scumbags. Well, I don't understand. What, what were they doing? Like, just not taking care of when them? When the animals were dying, they were just like putting them in trash bags and throwing them out. PETA did? Yeah. That must have been just some scumbag. <laughs> well, back in the day, we had a summer home in Michigan, and my uncle, we had the problem up north, I don't know, maybe you know in Wisconsin, it was molds. They would fuck up your yard big time, yeah. and they would have these. And those things are hard to get rid of. But no, they would have these death traps that they would put down. Oh, they, uh, as a kid, I didn't really think about it too much until lately. My mom brought something up about it. Well, there's a lot more ways you, that trap you can get rid of. Models. No, you would stick like these things in the like ground, a, and they had spikes. So when they when it touched, the spikes came down and fucking yeah. killed them. So you would literally kill most of the things. Something like that, and then there was these, and then but you could, I mean, you could smoke them out of the holes, you could flood them out of the holes. You could put little poison food in there. It sounds like Vietnam for wolves. Serious? <laughs> you know, like booby traps everywhere. I Char remember. Charlie didn't left it. Do you cover them up with leaves so they don't know what they're walking on top? Is there like the rainbow mold that somehow like made it past all your defenses and rescued the other one? <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. There's probably moles now that are like walking the streets all bummed out and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Getting spit on, being called like, you know, prairie dog killers. I guess prairie dogs, they have a big problem with that in somewhere, in Arizona, or they had like a mass killing of them. Prairie dogs are way cuter than moles, though. Remember the Simpsons whacking day, where they would just kill yeah. snakes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, at least today is better than yesterday as far as weather. It was dreary yesterday. It's sunny in southwest Florida today, everybody. Oh, surprise! That's why it's the Sunshine State. Oh, did Fact you see of the Jason day. got another effing boxed master system? Son of a bitch. Where? Well, I was telling Matt yesterday there was three sales in Cape Coral for video games. Turns out one of them had a box master system there. Well, well. Did, uh, no prices or anything? I uh, know you didn't say anything. Wait he's until like, the guy calls you and sells you his box deluxe set. That's gonna be way better. Dude, just get a freaking go get a uh, the, the power base converter. The Fuck box. it. I want the box. I want the actual box. When I do get that freaking Robbie the robot in the box, I hope he sells it. To me. He will. I I you know what I I wish you all the best luck, but not to be a dick. I no, you'll get it. I'm gonna be a good person. Think good thoughts. You'll get it. Yeah, we gotta spread the karma. Yeah, positive thinking. Did you start playing Shadowrun? No, I, I started playing uh, Castlevania 4. Oh, okay. What a fun game. Yeah. It's quite enjoyable. The music in it is sweet. Oh, yeah. The whole game is good. You get to play a little bit. I was like, I gotta go to bed early tonight. That would have been a smart thing for me to do. Where'd you go drinking? It was just in your neighborhood, right? It's just in Steve's house. Uh, the guy that 
owns the pharmacy. He has us over. He lives in the same community that I do, and uh, he's always their family. They probably have like get-togethers like three times a week. <laughs> they invite all their friends over. They're Indian, so they Hindu, so they they always have these huge meals, and you know, alcohol is flowing like it's a uh, freaking. I like Indian food. Indian food. Well, yesterday it was Thai because one of them. Oh, Thai's um, good too. One of them's married to a Thai lady, and she's getting ready to uh, go back. Is that the brother? Yeah. Vicky. Is she good looking? Yeah, decent. Why did that out so mad? Doesn't get fired. I know. <laughs> but uh, so she cooks all this authentic Thai food and. This time it wasn't too spicy. She she dummied down the spicy level a little bit. And there's been a couple times when, goddamn, I bet her food burnt me twice. Oh yeah, well there's this. I think it's either Thai or Indian. It's this uh, paste called sambolic, and it's kind of like a spicy sweet stuff they put on uh, nasi goreng and stuff like that. It's, it's oh, hey chef, yeah, what's sambolic? Sambol or sambolic? Sambolic. I'm not sure what that is. What's the other one you said? Nasi goreng. No, what's the other one you said? Joseph? Symbol. What's that? It's a red chili paste. Well, that's what, that's what it is. Yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I'm saying symbol, it wrong. Symbol, yeah, it's a red chili paste. It's symbol, and it's also um, sriracha. Oh, that's the new stuff at Subway, I think. They're trying to I mean, it's been around sriracha. sriracha. Why? You know why I said symbolic? Because that's actually Dutch for symbol. Yeah, very spicy. Good though. It's very good. I don't think it's too, too spicy. But everybody's got their own no, thresholds. Okay, no, worse. I mean, I'm a oh, yeah. bitch, so that probably would be way too spicy. Oh, I love spice. I got Jojo, to Jojo got to cook once for Julia Childs, right? Yep. What? Yeah. Did she yeah. talk like this? She's a big woman. She's <laughs> like, mm. how'd you how'd you cook for Julia Childs? I got invited to cook for her. Um, when I was in culinary school, they selected four students to cook for her. And when I kind of when I applied to university, <laughs> I um, put her as one of my biggest influences. So. I got to cook for her before she passed away and pictures and the book and everything. When did she, how long ago? You know she was a spy, right? Huh? You no, know she was a spy for the United States of America. I heard about, yes. She was yes. a spy for like 40 years. Yeah, that's crazy. She, she traveled the world. That is so spy. crazy. She's yeah. like cooking for like Kaiser Wilhelm. You know? James Bond spy. Yeah. But when did she pass away? Oh, God. It's so what? It's 1990? What is she? Oh, God. In the 90s? I mean, the past to the 2000, a long time ago. Mm. She's in the Smithsonian too. Well, who played her on uh, the in the movie? Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. That's Amazing right. Actress. Oh yeah, she's a sick actress. She went to Harvard or Yale, one of those schools. Brilliant. <laughs> Big woman, though. Jesus. Or French cooking to America. Oh, Were you way. nervous about cooking for her? No, God no. Up here, like up no, from between here and 138, there was like 10 cops and a bunch of people pulled over. Is it an accident in Fort Myers Beach? No. Kids ran into a concrete wall. Yeah. And the car caught, then the SUV caught on fire. It took an hour to get one of them out. It's sick. It's crazy. I know, right? It's not alcohol related. It, it wasn't. Did you collect the Electra series, the comic books? No. You kidding me? I don't think so. No. Electra. Oh, Electra, yes. Yeah, okay, I'll yes. Just, I was gonna say, you must be insane. Yeah, yeah. Because that was like... Electra, yes. Like molten lava hot. Yeah. I was so addicted to that. Yeah, that was good. With moment. the whole hand. Mm. Yeah, I'd be really pleased with the way that uh, Jennifer Gardner wrote that franchise. Right. Both in comic books and in film. And Dedo was all goes well. I must be just really excited. She absolutely just... Well, you know, I actually like Ben Affleck. Is someone... Am I getting pulled over? It was, it was, it was horrible. You're kidding me. Everything about it was terrible. You guys got your seatbelt on? No. Well, that was interesting. Oh we just got. God. It turns out in the state of Florida, as of July 1st, 2002. <laughs> Recent. No. No. 2002. 2002 yeah. Oh, it is 2002. 2002. Oh shit, yeah. ass. Like, it's been around for a while. Uh, it's by law. You have to either slow down by 20 miles per hour and get the posted and, speed limit and get out of the way, or get out of the way if a cop is pulling somebody over. God. Otherwise, you're breaking the law. And John Vizzer broke the law, but only got a warning because he's a super nice guy. And I have, I have, thank God, my record is cleaner than Skeeter's Peter. Jeez. And he winked at the cop. Oh yeah. Show a little, like, show a little cleavage. Wink. He was very talkative. Like. 
Well, that was cool. Yeah, that was like, yeah. I was like, do our was very talkative. After talking with the cop, uh, are women able to change tires? No. That's no. Cool. I can't. Yeah, change we, we barely learned that from him. Yeah, his the cop's wife can't change tires, and he's pissed about it. I can't believe I drive like a freaking grandmother, and I got pulled over. We also learned it that he was a big Sega Saturn fan as well. He was uh, he was very interested in the Saturn, very depressed that it went under. What? <laughs> uh, he told us to watch out ahead, though. There's a. You know what sucks, though? I'm glad you grabbed uh, my license because I'm so freaked out about cops. I shake. And yeah, if you would have saw that, you would have been like, "Why are you so nervous?" I just, I, I don't, I don't trust. I do not trust police. Every, I mean, I shake when I get pulled over. You just we all do. No, but I'm, last time that happened with me, they were like, "What you so nervous for, boy?" And I'm like, "Cause you got a good old boy, not a cop." No, I think he wasn't. He, yeah. he, he, no, he was. He, I think he was Cuban or something. And I'm like, "Cause you, I'm worried about getting in trouble. In trouble about what?" Just and immediately like, invoke Miranda and just be like, I'm not talking. No, 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 I don't say nothing. I just say. <laughs> I, I turn it into a whole thing. I'm like, you are the law. My car. Oh, I'd go, I have fun with it. Really? Oh, yeah. At that uh, point. No, because they'll find any reason to give you something. When yeah, when they're in that moment, If you have nothing, you're, you're fine. No, they'll make up something. That's what. Uh, you're paranoid. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, it happened to my brother and me. I'd, I'd pull you over, too, just to be fair. Well, I shake like a bastard when I get pulled by a cop. They ask me, I go, why are you shaking? I go, because you're behind me, you're a police officer, I swerve, I get nervous, I'm looking all over the place. No, no, that's why I, get, I start shaking. And plus, they, they, plus the two kilos I got in the back, yeah, I was kind of worried that about. that dead body and two kilos. <laughs> the dead hooker and all the coke. My, my ticket's only because of speed, she's but I don't think it's searched. She's not dead, she's just tied up. <laughs> Actually, I think it's searched. I will be fine. I got searched driving from D.C. to um, Florida. On the border of Georgia and Florida. What did what'd you get pulled over for? Speeding? I had back then I had long dreadlocks. Uh, I was driving a Saab 9000 S, fully loaded, and it was way down. And as you know, drug trafficking goes up and down 95. Mm. So I got pulled over quote unquote speeding. And he wanted to take off my story, right, Matthew? Remember? He wanted to take apart my entire car. Yeah. My entire car on the side of the road. And so my uncle's a you know, big time attorney, so I said, well, I called my father on the phone and he was like, look. First, for, first foremost, you tell him to have a warrant. I said, I said that. And the guy said, sir, I get a warrant in two hours. And my father goes, you're making great two fucking hours. Yeah. You said, he said, you I was, I was going to college, so I stuck in the car. And I had long dreadlocks. And he goes, um, I, can get, I can get a warrant, boy, in, in two hours, blah, 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 blah. And my father like, let him get the warrant. And then he, uh, my mother called the Volvo deal, the um, Saab dealership in Miami. And was like, once they take the car apart, you demand them to take the car to the Saab dealership in Miami and put the entire car back together by Saab. And I was like, I was, I was, free, I was freaked out because, you know, I got long dreadlocks, it's nighttime. Uh -huh. and, it's a, and it was a speed trap. It's, it's a small town between Florida and Georgia border that it's like, I don't know, this small little speed trap and they tag you. Oh, uh, yeah. I was shaking like a leaf. Did yeah. he really call you boy? Because if he did, that No, but he was very he was very aggressive and very threatening. <laughs> I, I, would, I would have been extremely excited for that. No, I said boy, he said boy. But he was, I was very, he was very aggressive and very threatening. And I'd be like, I was like, I'm you know, young. Did, so they end up taking apart? No, he, well, that happens this. They, as we all know, police officers know the law. So what he tried to do is call, I called his bluff. He, he could have got a warrant, but he was not going to wait two and a half, three hours on the side of the road to get a judge to sign a warrant. And at one in the morning, he had to wake him up and all kind of bullshit. Mm, and he had probable cause, cause and everything. Yeah, that's not and um, so he, I called his bluff when I called my dad. My dad was like, you know, he's calling he calls bluff. So when I said to him, well, sir, get a warrant. He knows that I know at one in the morning, you got to wake the judge up. You got to go to the nearest court, which God knows yeah, where it on, is. Yeah. And all that crap. So he waited like 45 minutes and stuff, you know, all this threatening stuff to me. And I'm going to search the car and all this shit. So he can't do it. what do you eventually say when he just let you go? He uh, he did the warning thing after the long conversation and, and trying to play all this law stuff on me. He called he um your lucky day kind of stuff. You know your lucky day. This is a warning. I like that with that. You were speeding. Day. Yeah. But he wanted it because that's the thing. You watch these cop shows, Matthew. I don't know if you know this now, but you, have to, you can't even open it. Once you open a glove compartment, they can search your glove compartment. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you must close. It's a closed compartment. Yeah. He didn't want to search my entire car. Yeah, there's like videos on YouTube. You can I, I watch like those. I like those. About how to act if you ever do get pulled over. Yeah. Like, don't even like if you if they, if you have to get out of your car, like just open the door enough to get out and then close yeah. the door right yeah. away. And just you know what I like? like? What I like is um, that's what I said too on YouTube. What I like is when the cop stops you and you're walking down the street, and you go, "Officer, am I being detained?" 
and they have to, they have to ask the question like, am I, you know, if I'm entertained, and they go, no, and you go, okay, then have a nice day, you walk away. <laughs> I watched that too on YouTube, it's amazing. Yeah, it's it. you go, am I, yeah and, they, and they see, are you being entertained, you go, yes, I want to be entertained for. And then they have to explain the, the, why you're being entertained, but you can actually go, thank you, have a nice day, and walk away. I had the, wrong, the sticker on the wrong side of the window, man. What sticker? Our, our uh, Oh, yeah, he didn't see the sticker. No, <laughs> no it's a, that one's expired. That's last year's. No, you gave me a new one. You put the new one on? Yeah, I thought you, yeah, you gave me a new one, I thought. Yeah, no, they gave you the expired one. So you insulted the cops. Except in New York, they have the right to search you. Stop and search. Oh, yeah. If you're suspicious, oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. It's a law. That's kind of new, though, right? It's been around a couple years now, but it's caused oh. a huge amount of controversy because oh, they target yeah. minorities. Oh, yeah. And they use, the, they use numbers. The crime has gone down and murders and blah blah blah. Well, should be typically in. <laughs> if you got a fucking police state, yeah, it's yeah, gonna be yeah. like that. Fuck me. Right, just stop and see. Stop, stop and see. Stop and search. <sighs> okay. Hey, are we going to this kid's house first? No. After. I love to watch you get pulled by a cop. You, you're gonna make me laugh already. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very. Uh, you push the button very too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had a cop and he pulled me over. He goes, You didn't stop long enough for that stop sign. And I looked at him and I go, Are you saying that I stopped at the stop sign but not long enough? And he goes, well, Yeah, because you got to stop for at least three seconds. And I yeah. go, You just said that I stopped at the stop sign, which means that my car came to a stop. He's like, You getting lippy with me, buddy? And I was like, I'm just repeating back to you that you said I stopped at a stop sign. So you were pulling me over. And he goes, well, that, yeah, but you rolled right through it. I go, no, no, you said I stopped at the stop sign. I go, if you're going to give me a ticket, you give me the ticket, and then I'll just go ahead and see you in court. And he goes, you're acting real, real flippant for somebody that uh, didn't supposedly do nothing. And I'm like, you said I stopped at a stop sign, which I did. I go, you don't just stop, look left, look right, look left again, and then go, and you don't stop anywhere in between there. And he's like, well, I'm going to give you this ticket. I was like, please, thank you. I appreciate it. So he gives me the ticket, and I take it to the Fort Myers courthouse. He doesn't even show up. Yeah. The judge asks me what happened, or whoever the person is that's taking care of it. And I go, uh, he said I didn't stop long enough at the stop sign. And the judge goes, you see, he said you stopped at the stop sign. I go, yeah. And he goes, all right, this is, we're good here. Thanks. Well, also it's recorded. Once yeah. Put the lights on, the recording comes on. That's probably why he didn't even show so up. You can, that's why he didn't show up. Because he could, they go with ignorance. The, the, dumb, the dumb shit literally said, and I mean, there are very intelligent cops out there. There are cops that have, you know, degrees and whatnot that are very, very clearly intelligent human beings. And I would say that, that there's probably, out of ten cops, nine of them are well-educated and intelligent human beings. But I got, I got the, the ten percent. <laughs> I got, I got the fucking, you know, Jethro that graduated high school. You know, I want to bully people some more. You know, you, I can't have no power no more. So you're saying nine out of ten cops are intelligent? Oh, I know tons of cops, and they're all very, very smart, very articulate. No, no, I, I, I agree with you. That there's smart cops, but I think it might be a little lower than that. I, mean, I would to say do what they do it to do it well. I don't think you cannot be intelligent. Yeah. You know, you're like at least at one point in time in your entire career, your life will be in, in jeopardy. And that's and that's the the bare bones minimum. They right. get a bad rap. They get yeah. bad, and they, they they're here to protect us as a police. You know, you know. When you watch, I watch cops all the time, and it amazes me. I know it's, it's an edited show, but it amazes me how I many people who do have things that are legal in their car just don't say get a warrant. Yeah. I mean, or just don't say anything at all. You yeah. Know, ask your question and go. I yeah. didn't see my attorney. Just basic knowledge. They you get know, scared. They that's what happened. They just yeah, freak out. Get a kilo of marijuana or whatever coke in your trunk, and they go catch it in the trunk. You just go no. No. I just yeah, you're going through the process because you don't get arrested. You don't get arrested yeah. anyway, right? Like, yeah. So going through the process. Yeah. I the dogs. I don't call the. You know what they gotta do? You know, just but turn they, off they go, the camera. Yes. <laughs> I'll smoke you out. You're fine. <laughs> That's a good thing. That the camera comes you know, out. So I, I run an escort service. I happen to have some ladies back at the house. <laughs> we can go ahead and have a party. <laughs> oh, speaking of parties, sexy time. Oh. I what can't. I don't want to. I can't say it on the. Is camera. the camera rolling still? Yeah, I can't tell it on the camera. It's, it's fine. fine. Well, I'm red. If it's rolling, I want. I don't want my face in that. It's too late. My now. image. I want my image in that. You're already there. Yeah. You already Did told me on YouTube. You already told me I could. You can't I want to control you my image. For all 230 people that will view the video. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna call my attorney because I, I didn't sign any documents. <laughs> <laughs> Church of video games. I do that at work all the time because yeah. I, I do. Um, we do events and we take pictures of clients and yeah. these, oh. high, these high power clients. 
and we can't do anything unless they sign documents. So they have to sign a okay. contract agreement saying we can have the picture taken. My wife works at the Baltimore, and they have to sign the same contract. Yeah. Because you don't want 